are a few reasons for rebuilding your seal right valve on your hose or on your fitting. The fitting or hose leaks when disconnected and there's pressure behind the valve. It leaks when it's connected to a service fitting. The core depressor is wore out or it becomes hard to turn or is stuck and won't turn. Here are the different kits that we have available. We have the 19037, which is a 10 pack of the Seal Right O rings. We have the 19038, which is the plug assembly with all three seals. We have the 19040, which is a Seal Right repair kit with the plug assembly with all the seals, the spring, and a depressor. We have the 19041, which is the Seal Right overhaul kit comes with a plug assembly with all the seals, the nut, clip, depressor, and spring. And this is what I'm going to be using. We also have the 19045, which is just the gasket set. The tools that you'll need, you'll need a pair of snap ring pliers. You'll need a putty knife, scraper, straight edge, or a steel ruler to remove the plug retainer, and a small screwdriver or a mini pick. These we'll use to replace the gaskets. Now to rebuild the seal right. I'm going to be doing a seal right fitting, but you would do a hose seal right the same way. First thing we're going to do is take our snap ring pliers and remove the C-clip from the back of the nut. We're now going to remove the nut. And at this time, if you're just replacing out the O-ring, you could take your small screwdriver and remove and replace your O-ring. You'll take your straight edge and turning counterclockwise we'll remove the retainer plug and then the depressor and the spring. If you got the o-ring in the gasket kit you could go ahead and at this time Remove the O-ring and the gaskets. And then you would just go back in and put your O-ring and your two gaskets. Now we'll reassemble. We'll take the new spring, and these are not directional, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. We'll take the new depressor. You can see the depressor. Depressor side up, and it just sits right on top of the spring. We'll take our new retaining plug, or our rebuilt one, place it on top, turning clockwise, and go with your hand and then taking your straight edge, tighten until snug. And then you would either take your existing nut or the new nut, slide it on, and again taking your snap ring pliers, going to replace the C-clip. And then we make sure that the nut turns smoothly. Your hose or fitting is now ready for use. Thank you for watching this Yellow Jacket technical tip video. If there are any other tech tip videos you would like to see, post them on the ideas page at www.yellowjacketuniversity.com.